I can't even tell you how long I've wanted to film a video on my bed, but there's like a window here. My bed is right here, so there's nowhere to put a tripod, but I just stacked up a ton of books. I mean, it's great. Hey guys, so as I'm assuming most of you guys know, I have transferred from public school to online school for the fourth quarter of my junior year of high school. And since then, I have been getting an overwhelming amount of comments about um, just all these questions about online school and how I like it, if I want to go back, all that stuff. So I am going to answer all those questions, I'm going to talk about the school that I do, and yeah, I ask guys on Twitter and Instagram to ask me any questions that you guys have, so I have a bunch of questions from you, but I also do have a little bit of notes that I just want to talk about as well that aren't revolved around your questions, but just questions that I've gotten or questions that I had. There's a FedEx delivery woman and she just had a mullet. The reason that I switched from public school to online school um, was because of mainly two reasons. The first one was that I missed a ton of junior year from traveling from YouTube and stuff like that and um, if I missed more school it just would have affected my GPA my grades everything like that so it didn't really make sense for me to continue on with the fourth quarter and then I'm moving to LA this summer for the summer so it wouldn't really make that much sense for me to have stayed in school because I would have missed so much of school um, so that's why I switched and also because I was really dedicated to YouTube and very committed to it. I really wanted to just make it my entire life and I thought that online school would give me that opportunity and just let me only focus on YouTube and stuff like that. Now doing online school, I realize that is not the reality of it and it's very different than what you might think, but it's also exactly what you think online school is. The online school that I do is Connections Academy and I do the public version. There is a private version and a public version. I don't know much about the private version, so I'm not going to say that much. The only thing I know about the private version is that you have to pay for it and public is free. I absolutely love the public version. It's very flexible. I can do it whenever I want. Um, I could do it at 3 in the morning if I want. I could do it at 9 a.m. if I want. I could do it at 3 in the afternoon. Um, I could miss a day and then just make up another day later. Um, so it's very, very flexible to a schedule and it's great. Something that I knew would happen with online school is that I would be bored and that I'd be kind of lonely without my friends. But um, you're a lot more bored than you think you're gonna be. Like, there are just some weeks when I'm just like, I just don't want to do anything. I just want to lay around. I want to be lazy. And it, on, it took a toll on everything in my life. I just had so much time that I just would push everything off. I'm like, oh, I can do it later because it's all on my own schedule now. I was just so lazy, so unmotivated to do anything. I'm still unmotivated to do everything. Like, I'm still in my school year right now getting this video to be filmed. The only way I could motivate myself to do it was to sit on the bed to do it. So it's very different. You really have a lot of time. You have to prioritize. You have to do a lot of time management and all those things like that. So I mean, besides online school and the schooling part of it, your social life becomes extremely different. So if you're someone that needs social interaction, that needs people interaction, and you want to feel like you're a part of something, online school is not for you because you don't have that feeling. You feel very, very, very disconnected from people at school, from just friends in general because they're talking about, you know, school and everything that's happening at school and you you don't you don't know what they're talking about because you're not there. So it's very it's a very disconnected world, to say the least, with online school versus public or private or just going to a school. I do feel much more motivated to do a lot of things when I'm really busy. So like at school I would get up at 6 a.m. and then I wouldn't be home until 2.30 and then I'd have that whole afternoon to work on YouTube and I was very ready to work on YouTube because I did something that I hated in the morning and I was like, yeah, I get to go home and do something that I love. But now it's just I get to do what I love all the time so it's not as special anymore. You know what I mean? It's just the time and the social interaction that's the big difference from public school to online school. I just want to clear up one thing and it's the thing that I hate so much when people will ask me on Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, whatever, why did you drop out of school? I did not drop out of school. I still attend school. I just do it online. People think I dropped out. I did not drop out. I simply transferred from a public school to an online school. An online school is also not homeschool. I'm not homeschooled. I do my school at home or I do it at Starbucks, but my mom does not teach me. Teachers do not come to my house. My dad does not teach me. I do my classes online. That's not homeschooling. There's a difference. 
And I think anyone that does online school can agree with me on those two things. They are the most annoying comments to get because people think you dropped out, which you didn't, or you're homeschooled, which you're not. Oh, I also just want to say one more thing before I get on to your questions, and that is that I am going back to public school next year, and it's honestly because I don't like online school. Um, it's not for everyone, but I also, I don't like public school, but I really do miss having something to do every single day, and that's just going to school. Um, I know that sounds boring, and I know everyone hates it, but once you don't do something every day, you do kind of miss it, and it's my senior year next year. That's crazy to say. So I don't want to miss my senior year of high school. So at Cookies, Beth or Michelle asks, how did you choose your online school? Um, basically, I chose my online school by a lot of my friends that did online school. A lot of them did Connections Academy and they all said it was a really good program. Also, my mom and I looked up a bunch of them and a lot of online schools Overall ratings are really low with grades and everything and Connections Academy was the highest one so it would rank best looking in colleges and stuff like that. Um, I also just want to say that before I started online school I was like I'm probably not going to go to college, all this stuff. Now doing online school I want to go to college. So online school for me was a really good learning experience because I always would have had the what if I did online school, this would have happened, this would have happened, this would have happened. But I know that those things I thought would happen didn't happen, so I can now go back to school feeling confident, ready to go, everything like that. And I know that I do want to go to college because before I didn't want to go to college and I'd rather know in my junior year that I want to go to college than have graduated high school and then took a year off and be like, I'm bored, I want to go to college but I'm late on it. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. So I'm happy of the timing that online school happened to me. Uh, two turn, Justin asks, is it easier for you to procrastinate? It is so easy to procrastinate. Like I have a test today in my consumer math class and I have been putting it off for three days now because I'm like, oh, well the next thing is just the unit review for uh, the final. So I don't need to do it. Stuff like that. So it's very, very, very easy to procrastinate. Um, and you really need to like discipline yourself and just sit down and be like, I have to do this. So if you don't have self-discipline, online school is going to be really tricky for you because it's really tricky for me because I just don't have the motivation to just sit down and do my school. How do you schedule your schooling hours? So you basically don't have a schedule. It's not like public school where you have to go from like my school was 7.40 a.m. to 2.20 p.m. It's not like that at all. Um, you can do it whenever you want. So if you have time on Monday at 4 p.m., you do it at Monday at 4 p.m. If you have time on Tuesday at 3.47 in the morning, that's when you do it. On Wednesday, if you're really busy and you don't have time, you don't do it on Wednesday, and then you just make up for it on Thursday. Um, so it really is your own complete hours. Whenever you can do it is at the time that you can. Um, the only thing with my online school is that the teachers require what is called live lessons and that's just when you have to attend a certain amount of um, class lessons but the, you can't see the teacher and the teacher can't see you. You're basically just in a chat room and then the teacher is kind of talking and um, going through a demonstration of the lesson and stuff like that. Is it harder than regular high school? It's harder in a sense that you are completely teaching yourself. Basically all that it is is you have a lesson that you're introduced to, you have a reading, and then you have a little quiz at the end of each assessment. Again, this is just with my online school. Chemistry, for example, I couldn't even understand it in public school, but I mean, I have a better grade in chemistry with online school than I did in public school. So in that sense, it's sometimes better, but harder, I wouldn't say it's harder, I just say it's a lot more independent. Is it daily? Yes, you have to do a certain amount of hours a week, but if you can't do it every single day, that's fine. You just make up your hours whenever you can. Have you become more lazy because of doing online school? Yes! Oh my god, I'm so lazy. It drives me insane. I just don't have the motivation to get up and go do things because I'm just so lazy. I just have so much time. It's just, it's ridiculous. How do you find the motivation to start your work and to finish it? Basically, I find the motivation to start it because I'm bored and I have nothing else to do and I'm like, may as well do school. And I finish it by just saying that the sooner I get done, the sooner I can be done school and sit on my phone all day. So, 
pretty much what I do. How does this affect your friendship? That is a great question and that is also something I did not think would affect my friendship because at school I had a solid group of friends that were very close to me and I was very close to them and I was like I'm gonna leave school and it's gonna be fine because you know they're my friends and I'm gonna see them every like I'm still gonna see them every weekend stuff like that and then you know the week before I left school I started seeing quotes, quotes on Twitter with law of attraction and it was like um, sometimes you're only friends with people because you have to see them five times a week you know at school and stuff like that and I was like not me I left all night I mean I left public school and I noticed that my friends just slowly forgot about me and just, who, who is Tori? They don't know a Tori anymore. Like, as soon as you stop going to school, people just forget you exist. And it's a very weird feeling. Granted, I do still hang out with some of those friends, but I'm definitely a lot more distant with them than I was when I was in school and it makes me really sad because I was like I thought this was my best friend but it's now just kind of we're just best friends because we see each other five times a week. So it's very weird. It's a very weird feeling to have. What's the difference between normal school and online school? There are so many differences but I'd say the number one difference is drama. Jeez, there is so much drama. In public school, a girl could like drop her pencil and then she'll hand it back to the girl who dropped it and oh, drama will start about it. She's like, oh, she made a face at me. She didn't even pick up the pencil and all this stuff. Like, girl, calm down. But at online school, it's just you. So there's no drama and it's great. I haven't had drama since I left public school. That was about a month and a half ago. And it's been great. And you realize that it literally, like public school, like everyone is so bored, they just make drama. For all in school, you don't do that because you don't want to make drama with because it's just you. So that's the biggest difference is drama. So if you don't like drama, try online school, but you might be bored. Okay, so that is all of the questions that I'm going to answer today because this is actually a really, really long video. Really sorry about that. But yeah, I hope you guys all found this video helpful. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And yeah, I guess that's all I really have to say. Be sure to subscribe, leave a comment down below telling me that you like um, burgers and french fries. Whatever you want to tell me down below, you can tell me. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys in my next one. See ya.